Imagine walking into an office that's perfectly tailored for you. The air is fresh, the lighting is just right, and the temperature is spot on. What I'm about to show you in this video, I'm hoping will help organizations achieve or at least get closer to this ideal scenario. Rico Spaces is so much more than just a space booking tool. It's a workplace experience platform that empowers users to gain insights over their space occupancy, monitor their environmental quality, and make well-informed decisions to enhance the comfort and well-being of employees in their working environment. This holistic approach ensures that workplaces are not only efficiently managed, but attuned to the needs and preferences of the workforce, promoting a healthier and more productive work atmosphere. And I'm going to be talking to you about sensors. Sensors like these can help organizations keep track of their workplace in great detail, understanding metrics like CO2 levels, light, noise, temperature, and even air pressure. And having a grasp over these metrics along with energy and occupancy allows organizations to make the most well-informed, objective-based decisions on their workplace. So whether you want to add more desks, meeting rooms, or change offices entirely, you'll have all of the data to fall back on. When it comes to integrating sensors into Rico Spaces, there are two key categories, energy and environmental, like these two here, and then occupancy like this one. I'm gonna go through all of these now and talk quickly about each one, starting off with environmental, which is this sensor right here. And the way that it works is that you install six AA batteries on it. I'll show you over here. You install six AA batteries and that will give you up to three years of battery life. And then you install it on the wall and it will start collecting data for you. And the readings that you can get from this sensor are temperature, noise, carbon dioxide levels, light levels, humidity, dew points, and atmospheric pressure. It works on the LoRaWAN network, so you don't need power over ethernet, so you don't have to have cables running everywhere, and you don't have to rely on Wi-Fi. So this little box here gives you quite a lot of data and it's recommended to just have a few of them planted throughout your office. Maybe put one in each meeting room so it can get all of the data on how that meeting room is performing. We've actually got one installed on this meeting room. I'll actually try and show you that. So there is our sensor installed on the wall. So that's getting the readings of all the things that I mentioned earlier just for this meeting room. And you'll be able to see all of the data that this collects in the feed via the Rico Spaces web app, or you can use mobile insights on the Rico Spaces mobile app, which is a relatively new feature that we've released for the platform. So next we have our energy sensor, and this is called a hot drop sensor. And the way that this works is it just clips straight onto the cable that you want to track. So if you clip one of these onto a power cable, it will just clip on like that. It's completely self-sufficient, so it draws power from the cable itself in order to keep itself going. So no batteries, no power over ethernet, and it will also work like the environmental sensor here over the LoRaWAN network. So you don't need to rely on Wi-Fi, and again, you don't need to rely on ethernet. This will help you gather information on your energy usage so you can see which part of your workplaces draw the most energy. And then of course, in our second category of sensors, we have occupancy. So this is an example of an occupancy sensor that we have. And the way that this particular sensor works is you install it on the ceiling and then it will track a certain area. So by being installed overhead, it will use its built-in sensors to be able to track an area of the workplace and see how much of that space is being utilized. So for example, if you've got a bank of six desks and you want to be able to monitor how many of those desks are occupied at any given time, then this one sensor will be able to track that entire area. And it is important to note here that it's not Big Brother, it's not tracking who is in a given space, just if that space is being used. Now, unlike the other two sensors that I've shown you here, this sensor does require a form of external power and network connectivity. So your best option is likely going to be PoE, power over ethernet, in order to keep this device connected. But the benefit is you only need one to cover a certain area. In fact, I've actually got one above me right now that's tracking this meeting room. I'll just show you what that looks like. Above me here is the sensor that is tracking this entire meeting room. And that will tell us in real time how many people are in this area. 
One key benefit that these sensors are able to bring is that they're able to show if a space is being used without it being booked and we get a better understanding and better accuracy of space utilization. We have a traffic light system built into the 3D floor plan of Rico spaces, green showing us if a space is available, red showing us if a space is booked and orange showing us if a space is being used without it being booked and that's all because this sensor is constantly picking up that information and showing it in real time. Now, while all of these sensors are compatible with Rico spaces, they're not all required to make the platform work. You can pick and choose which ones you want, depending on which data is valuable to your organization. Sensors like the ones I've shown you in this video can greatly elevate the control organizations have over their environmental impact by monitoring their energy usage and the environment of their workplace. We value environmental impact and reporting, and we're well positioned to deliver environmentally focused solutions. So by working with our partners, we are proud to deliver occupancy, energy, and environmental sensors for Rico Spaces. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, then feel free to check out the Rico Spaces YouTube channel, and we'll see you in the next video.